All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video about Dave Draper. Now, Dave Draper was a classic bodybuilder that's really one of the most legendary and iconic classic bodybuilders for several reasons. Number one is the fact that he is an author of several amazing bodybuilding books, including Brother Iron, Sister Steel, Iron on My Mind, and Iron in My Hands. Um, so those are some of the best bodybuilding books of all time, in my opinion. The best being Brother Iron, Sister Steel, um, which I have and which I've read. And then, of course, he also runs DaveDraper.com, where he tries to keep people updated on bodybuilding news, especially revolving around classic bodybuilding um, and kind of bodybuilding history. Sometimes he updates about, you know, deaths in the bodybuilding community and stuff like that. And there's 12,000 members uh, on his forum, so it's a pretty good-sized bodybuilding website. So Dave Draper was a classic bodybuilder, as I mentioned earlier, and he competed primarily in the 1960s. So he was pretty much a master of the classic poses. His nickname was the Blonde Bomber for obvious reasons. He was obviously blonde. And he was also notably the training partner of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So in his list of titles, his most prestigious titles would be the 1965 IFBB Mr. America, which he won the overall. The 1966 IFBB Mr. Universe, he also won the overall at that show. The 1967 Mr. Olympia, he would place fourth. And the 1970 IFBB Mr. World, he won the tall and the overall class. And then in 1970, he would go over to NABA and compete in their Mr. Universe, and he would place third there. Um, so all in all, he, he won the Mr. America, the Mr. Universe, and the Mr. World. So basically the big three uh, minus the Mr. Olympia. So this guy was a very accomplished bodybuilder and held the, bi the three biggest titles in the sport outside of the Mr. Olympia. Now keep in mind, the Mr. Olympia didn't come along until 1965 anyway. Um, so for the 60s, really, you know, the Mr. America, the Mr. Universe, the Mr. World, those were the big titles because the Mr. Olympia wasn't really established at that point in time. So it really wasn't the biggest show yet um, in the mid 60s. So Dave Draper was in fact a master of the classic poses. So whether it be the crucifix pose, the vacuum pose, the Mantis pose, which he was an absolute master of. Um, some people say that Arnold pulled off the best Mantis pose of all time, um, but I think Dave Draper had a pretty comparable one. His was pretty good. Um, despite the size of his arms not being as large as Arnold's, clearly um, he still had a very artistic way of hitting it um, that made it look pretty impressive. And he also tried to master uh, Arnold's signature twisting uh, back double bicep pose, but I think Arnold pulled that one off better. So in terms of his actual bodybuilding statistics, he was not that massive of a bodybuilder. He weighed between 215 and 225, um, which is 93 to 102 kilograms. Um, and his height was six foot tall. So for a pretty tall bodybuilder, 215 to 225 is not that big of a guy, but he still managed to look pretty impressive. So Dave got started in bodybuilding at the age of 21 when he won the Mr. New Jersey title. Then he moved to California where he would start working for Joe Weider's Weider Barbell Company, um, where he would work until 1969. Um, so first when he moved out to California, he trained at a gym called The Dungeon, um, which was kind of a large, dark gym. Um, then later on, he would start training at Gold's Gym Venice, which would be the original Gold's Gym that you had Frank Zane, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Franco Colombo, Mike Katz, Robbie Robinson, all those old, you know, classic golden era guys. He was definitely right in the middle of that group. And you can see a lot of iconic pictures of him training at Gold's, training with Arnold, training with Frank Zane, um, training with all these legends um, of the sport. Now, one of the things that I find the most impressive about Dave Draper is that he's still alive today. He's 75 years old and he still actively trains with weights and he looks fantastic. He still has an incredible physique. Um, he's still an incredible poser and he's still in incredible shape um, for his age. Now, I think Dave is a perfect example of these golden era bodybuilders using steroids in extreme moderation. So very small dosages. Um, and they used it over time. So he claimed that he was 10 years into his training and he had already won the Mr. America and he had never touched steroids up until that point. So he had won the Mr. America drug free. Then when he started using steroids, he used them very sparingly and he used them under a doctor's supervision. Um, so I think he's a perfect example of how if you don't abuse it, you can use it in moderation. You can live a very long life and still maintain a pretty incredible physique um, over a long period of time. And a lot of these golden era guys, man, they didn't use anything. And if they used something, it was a very small amount of it. And back then the technology wasn't that great. So if they were using something, it probably wasn't the best. And it certainly wasn't even close to the, you know, the technology the guys are using today. 
So it's also worth mentioning that Dave Draper was also pursuing a career in the movie. So he was in a movie called Lord Love a Duck in 1966 and a movie called Don't Make Waves in 1967. Now, I've never heard of either of those two movies, and I'm sure a lot of you probably haven't either. And that's why he uh, really didn't go on to pursue much more of an acting career. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Dave Draper. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.